So in this video, you'll learn how to add a weather widget to the home screen of your Samsung Galaxy A36. So the first step is to long press on an empty space on your home screen to access its editor. And then from here, you want to tap on widgets. Under widgets, scroll and look for the option weather and tap on it to view the different styles that you can apply to your home screen. Once you've found your preferred style, just tap on it and then select add. From here, you can see it's been successfully added to the home screen. So if we want to move it around, all we need to do is just long press on it and then drag it to whatever position you want to place it in. If you want to move it across home screen borders, so then you can just drag it across the border and it will be taken to the next home screen over. Then from here, if you're ready to place the widget, just let go of the screen. You can choose to increase or decrease the size of the widget. So if you long press on it, you should see these handles on all four corners of the widget. So use the handles to increase or decrease the size of the widget. Bear in mind that some widgets, you won't be able to customize it that much. So keep that in mind whenever it comes to changing the size of the widgets. If you want to go a step further by customizing the location that the weather is being shown or the color of the widget, then this is what you need to do. Long press on it and then select the option settings in this menu. Under settings, you'll need to agree for your phone to access the local weather, as well as choosing whether it's going to be using approximate or precise location. Once you've done that, wait for it to load. And then once you've given all those necessary permissions, you can now close that app, and then again, long press on it, and then select settings. Now you can start customizing the widget. So by default, it's set to your current location. If you want to change it to something else, just tap on change, then use the search function and look for a different location. Once you found it, then just select it like that and then choose it from the list of locations available. And once you've done that, you can see the widget changing locations. You can also choose to enable or disable a background as well as changing the background color so you can have it match with the phone setting or just set it to light or dark mode. It's completely up to you. And once you've finished with all of your customizations, you want to remember to tap on save to apply the changes. Then you can see my newly customized weather widget on my home screen. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.